What's going on, my PT peeps? I'm walking dead family my fighters. I'm one eye bry, also known as PT. I don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about the Walking Dead universe and is, well, was the Walking Dead world beyond a waste of time. Obviously, spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead. That's the world beyond Walking Dead. Fear the Walking Dead comics, spoiler warning. Well, I kind of think somewhat. I don't think it should have been 10 episodes, the Walking Dead World Beyond season one, but if you're watching the World Beyond, you're probably a Walking Dead fan. I highly doubt anybody started watching the Walking Dead universe with the Walking Dead World Beyond. And it's pretty unfair to compare the Walking Dead World Beyond to the Walking Dead. And the Walking Dead universe revolves around the Walking Dead. So it's pretty unfair to compare the Walking Dead World Beyond to the Walking Dead. That being said, I do feel like The Walking Dead World Beyond should have been six, maybe eight episodes. The Walking Dead first season was six episodes. So why was this 10? To stretch it out. Now, was it the characters? Was it the story? Was it the lack of originality? What was it that you didn't like? Did you like it after episode six and it got better as the story progressed? Did you not like the characters? Did you not like that these kids couldn't take down a walker or an empty? Did you like any of these characters? Elton. Silas, Hope, Iris. I like them for different reasons. They had their different strengths. Now we found out that CRM was going to be a big part of the show. And it is, but it isn't. Because the CRM stands for the Civic Republic Military. And we only see them really a handful of times. And when you do see them, it's only for a little bit. You get to meet Elizabeth Kublik. You get to meet Barca. You get to meet some different soldiers. You get to meet Huck and Felix. Well, Huck is the daughter of Elizabeth Kublik. But I know everybody was watching and waiting for Rick to show up. When's Rick going to come here? He was taken by these people. Why isn't he here? Right? But he never showed up. And I find it hard to believe some of the aspects of the story if, as you watch all 10 episodes. But like these two just got away almost by accident. And you find out later on that Huck whose real name is Jennifer on the show, is Elizabeth Kublik's daughter. And the kids went away basically by accident. When the whole time the story was all about the Civic Republic, well, CRM, the military, trying to get hope because she's a genius. She's very smart. And Iris is very smart. And maybe she's a genius. But Dr. Bennett spilled the beans that hope is really smart. And a lot of people got killed for no reason, really. They could have just sent a helicopter and picked up Hope. Be like, hey, you want to go see your dad? Come on, right? They didn't have to go through the bog. They didn't have to go on this big epic journey. They didn't have to do any of this. Could have been a totally different story. I do like the connections with Fear of the Walking Dead and the bog. Possibly Isabel, Althea. Maybe some different connecting points. Maybe Rick was here. Maybe he wasn't. I do like to find out more information about the mysterious Civic Republic and Dr. Bennett and the research. Are we going for the cure angle, the immunology style? What's going to happen with Dr. Bennett? Is he still alive? And some of the best parts were flashbacks, were post credit scenes, were two minutes or 10 minutes of an episode. This is a post credit scene. It's not even in an episode. Some people might not even watch it. If they stopped watching, they didn't see the post credit scene. Look at that sandwich. I'm sorry, I got a comment about it. But Dr. Belshaw, Dr. Bennett, Will, they're some of the minor characters that I was more interested from time to time than some of the main characters. And even though I did like Hope, Iris, Silas, and Elton, Huck and Felix were great too, and you got to see the world from different angles. But basically, you could have cut out three, four episodes and it still would have been fine. Instead of them dragging it out and building a raft and the walkers or empties, like they like to call them, which is, you know, a reaching name. But when it got to Percy and Tony, really in episode six, I would really say episode six through 10 are probably the best episodes of the series so far. And I guess season one. And it had its nice little moments and its little storylines that were like, will he find out? Will he not? Hope killed his mom? Oh my goodness, what's gonna happen there? And then we found out, right? Well, The Walking Dead World Beyond is only supposed to be two seasons, so they really had to stretch some things out, build up some character development. But the fact that some of the best parts like these are post credit scene is like, what? Why are we just finding this out in small aspects? And I want to know more about this. So I really hope 
season two really dives into that. Now, I did like the angle of the military aspect with the Marines and the backstory with Hook, well, Jennifer, and that's pretty cool. We never really saw that much of the military in The Walking Dead. We saw them here and there a little bit, but I would like to see a different angle for that. You could have done that on Fear of the Walking Dead or some spinoffs or Tales of the Walking Dead or whatever you want to do there, but that was pretty cool. Even though it's really only one episode, we do get to find out a little bit about this. The space spores, is it a nod to the comic? Is it the start of the zombie apocalypse? We don't know. It got people talking, and that's probably what they want you to do. They want you to discuss, talk about it, theorize it, and break it down. And I did like the aspect of possibly connecting with the walking dead with the fuel caches in the different states of Virginia, West Virginia, Ohio, Pennsylvania. And then we get to see a little more map overlays with Ithaca, New York, maybe around Cornell. And we can see different things connecting there. And I love how they brand their little three circle logo on oranges, bullets everywhere. You know, it's a little overkill. Like why even put it on the helicopter? But the fact that we found out more about the Civic Republic, it's good. So I think that alone is worth the time to invest in the show. Yeah, they did the spy angle again, and we have some more you know, family drama with Jennifer and Elizabeth, but some of the characters are good additions to the Walking Dead universe, I feel, in my opinion. Some people are like, how are they good? They can't even kill walkers. They're so useless. This one sucks. That one's a waste of time. Judith could do better than these kids. Well, they're different characters. Judith is awesome, and maybe these characters will be too. And I think Season one of The Walking Dead World Beyond ended strong. You know, in the two hour finale, which was two separate episodes, but they put it together, we found out more stuff about things. We got stuff answered. They set up some more questions. That's what you always got to do, but they answered some things. Percy was very much alive. Huck is the spy. Elton and Percy are going to be working together. They got to Ithaca. They're living around there. So it was Ithaca, Syracuse, possibly somewhere else in New York. Will they stay in the Northeast? New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey. Who's Huck's dad? What's going to happen with this? The watch looks a lot like Rick's. I'm not saying Rick is the father, but who is the father? I'm just, I'm not saying it's Rick. It's a joke. Now, I hope some of these characters connect with The Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, and the Rick movies. It just makes sense for them to connect with the Rick movies. And a lot of people are wondering if these characters are going to make it. If they're only going to be in season two. Like some people are thinking that Dr. Bennett is dead. But I think he's alive for several reasons. And did Dr. Belshaw, you know, rat him out? Is she helping him? You know, we just don't know. But I feel like if you already get killed off Dr. Bennett, who's arguably one of the smartest people left alive in the world, you can't just kill him. Yeah, you lock him up. Yeah, you bring his kids to him and be like, look, you're all together. Let's just get to work and you'll stay alive and we'll make this work. But the way the first season ended with Huck, Hope, and Elizabeth Kublik on the helicopter, Percy and Elton alone, Silas being captured, there's some questions there. And I'm kind of excited for season two, and I hope you are too, because I think it ended well to draw more people in. But unless Rick's going to be part of the second season or there's some more action or some big connecting moments, I don't know how many people are going to watch season two. I think the people that enjoyed the show are going to watch it, and I saw a lot of people change their tune. We're like, I gave up on the third episode, but I watched the finale and man, I can't wait to see what happens. Will, Felix, these people, how big is this group? Where is this group? Are they from the Omaha campus colony? Well, I guess the campus colony of Omaha or Nebraska. Are they just people from around New York, the Civic Republic there? I would assume they are, but we just don't know. And I can't wait to find out. But I asked the question, is it or was it a waste of time? I don't think so. I mean, I enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah, it could have been probably four, five, six, maybe eight episodes at the most, but 10 episodes is pretty good. And you know, we got some Civic Republic information and speculation. How will it connect? Will it connect? Is it gonna roll right into the first or second Rick movie? Can't wait to find out. Let me know your thoughts, post your comments below. And if you don't watch The Walking Dead World Beyond, we'll still be breaking it down for you so you won't miss out. Stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Thank you guys. Stay safe and tell them, Daryl. Yeah, we love you guys.